Hey guys, Anthony here, a video tutorial on how to create the zooming effect in PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint 2016 in this tutorial. So here's an example of a still image to which I've applied a zooming effect. And here's another example to which I've applied a zooming out effect to a still image. So I've used a morph transition in PowerPoint 2016 to create the zooming effect. In this tutorial, I'll focus on the basics of the morph transition, but you can check this tutorial in which I show you many more examples. Okay, so here I've got a blank slide, and I'm going to copy and paste a still image onto this blank slide. I'm just going to head over to Windows Explorer, and that's the one that I'm going to copy. I'm just going to go Control C. And then I come back here, and I'm just going to go Control V, and I paste it right on the slide. And as you can see, the the size of the image is not exactly proportional to the size of the slide. So I'm just going to crop it using the Format tab, it's right here. So I just use the aspect ratio of 16 by 9. So I'm just going to place the image exactly on the slide so I can fit it to the slide, like so. So on this slide, as you can see, the picture is exactly the same size as the slide. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go to this right section here where you see the slides. And I'm going to right-click on it, like so. And then I'm going to duplicate the slide by choosing Duplicate Slide. So as you can see, I've got a duplicate slide exactly identical to the previous one. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to increase the size of this image to make it much bigger than the slide. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just zoom out of this first, of the canvas or the slide. I'm going to move the picture just off the slide. And I'm just going to use the handles to drag it and make it much bigger. And as you can see in the in the background, the slide is much smaller. Next, I'm going to align the picture so it's in the center. So I'm going to use the Format tab once again. And now it's time to apply the Morph Transition. So I'm going to go to the Transitions tab, which is right up top here. And then I'm going to choose Morph. So now let me just play the slideshow. First I'm going to click on the previous slide, and then I'll go right down at the bottom right here. It will notice as I play it, it starts zooming in. But as you can see, the animation is a bit too fast. But we can slow this down in the section right up top. As you can see right now, the duration is 2 seconds. And I'm just going to change that to 7 seconds. And now if I play it again, you'll see that it's much slower. And that looks much better. So that was the zooming in effect. Now let me show you the zooming out effect. And essentially, you use the same technique that I showed you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reverse the order of the slides, and I'm going to drag this second slide up top like so. And then I'm going to click on the second slide, and I'm going to apply the Morph Transition once again. So I apply the Morph Transition to the second slide, and I'll go to the first slide, and I'll apply the Fade. I'll also change the duration for the second slide of the morph to 7 seconds. And if I play the slideshow again, you'll notice that it zooms out. Well, hopefully that helped. 
Check out these animated quotes that I created using moving background images.